So Jason asked, uh, uh, how do you model rain screen cladding such as ACM panel, fiber cement, etc.? Um, so I do have a bunch of tutorials on that, but because we're live, um, I can show you a quick tip on it and then I'll post a couple links. But um, you know, rain screen, if, if the goal is to model it as it's built, which I hope you guys would um, try to do no matter what, <laughs> um, then, uh, then I have a couple techniques. Let me look for this, this one tutorial for you guys. And I'll post it in there and then I'll also show you it. So I had a project where um, I used a, it's called a slat, I called it a slat wall, but, and again, remember this, this is gonna be posted a little behind and also all the links that I post on here will be on the blog post tomorrow morning and on the description of the video as we go along. So let me jump over to my camera and screen here. Hello. So my, my, my typical technique for, whoa, that's really bright. <clears throat> my typical technique for, Rabbit is just screaming at me right now. Sorry, let me, let me try and lower the brightness here a little bit. Um, for, for modeling things like rain screens and, and anything that really has sort of gaps in it, for, for example, um, really, really the, the, your best bet is to utilize curtain walls for that. And it seems goofy because if you're new to Revit um, and you hear the word curtain wall, um, you know, you're thinking curtain wall, you're thinking glass, tall buildings, etc. But really the curtain wall tool is just called the curtain wall tool, but it can be used for dozens and dozens of other things. Um, so what I'm going to do in here is I just created a quick, a quick new project and I'm going to use curtain wall one as my example. I'm just going to draw this curtain wall. The nice thing about curtain wall is that it really, yeah, it can be used to make curtain walls like you're all thinking, right? but it really, uh, the value behind it is that it's a wall family that you can host grids and other walls inside. And so um, a, a perfect example is, you know, this is a wall, right? What I can do is I can actually, instead of using glass, right? If I go to my edit types, I can actually make my curtain panel a wall type, right? So I can actually go in, and this is not necessarily answering your question, but I do like to show um, some of the things that you can do with curtain walls. Um, you could see I'm actually, you know, my curtain wall is now an eight inch CMU wall, right? But the benefit here is that I can add grids, right? And I can manipulate those grids. I can change the wall types within the grids. Um, and I can also add mullions and manipulate, manipulate mullions. So I can use the inside or the outside of the grid to do things. Now CMU wall is probably not the best example. There's not much you're gonna do here. Other than I guess if you were to put, I guess if you really wanted to, you could put some some mullions in there. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to make a reveal or something like that, right, you can. Um, and actually, <laughs> a little tease. Uh, next week, Aaron Mahler is going to be on again, um, uh, and uh, we're going to talk about filters. And so, you know, w w one thing you can do is you can filter out these these curtain panels or these curtain mullions and and uh, and use them. Or right now, for the sake of time, I'm just going to select them all and hide them just for fun, right? And so now you can see I made a a uh, CMU wall that has spaces in between it, but it's parametric, right? So I can go like this, I can go like that, I can move it around, right? Or I can make the spacing what it is. But the other thing you can do with, with curtain walls is, if I was to draw this curtain wall, let's say, you also can use an empty system panel. So you don't need a wall within the, within the panel part. So then you can use the opposite. You can use it as a, a a, a gridded system of something, whether it's wood slats or what you're talking about, rain screens, and uh, and you can use it for that. So, example, if I if I go here and I say I want my system panel to be um, empty, so there's one called empty system panel, and click apply. Right now, I just have this open grid, and I can go in, and I can say I only want it to have a horizontal layout. So I'm going to get rid of my verticals, and I'm going to do a fixed distance of one feet, one foot for the horizontal. Okay, and now, oh, I didn't get rid of my verticals. Try that again. Fixed distance, horizontal, oh, that's all right. <clears throat> so now what you can see is now I'm starting to make, you know, these, these, like this could be a rain screen or this one could be the rain screen, right? <clears throat> so to me, that was, that's how I would approach it. Any, any of those sort of um, gridded, um, gridded models that have to be some sort of reveals in between, pulled away, um, and there's different ways you can utilize the space in between.